Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate closed loop simulation of forward converter in MATLAB. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it, only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of a forward converter in closed loop mode. This is how it looks like in MATLAB. Just have a screenshot of it. This will really help you out uh, while simulating it in MATLAB. So, uh, with respect to design aspect and how to simulate it in open loop mode uh, for a forward converter, uh, it is already done in one of our previous videos please do watch it it will be available in the end screen and the description having watched that it will give you a clear idea with respect to the design perspective and simulating it in open loop mode however with respect to closed loop mode we will be starting off from the scratch and uh, we will be uh, simulating them in MATLAB but the design values will be taken from the previous video all right let's get started so here we are in matlab so we'll be clicking on the simulink library browser to get started uh, we will be uh, searching the components that we want uh, in simulink library browser so at the first place we'll be requiring a powerview block uh, this is basically used for uh, the simulation to take place so the discretization uh, during runtime is done uh, using this powerview block we need a voltage measurement block as well in order to measure the output voltage once these two blocks are added we'll be using a dc voltage as a source so search for dc voltage and scroll a little down choose the ones that are there in black because the blue ones are generally used for uh, signals and systems digital signal processing applications so once this is done uh, we will be uh, requiring a mosfet which is used as a switch we can use igbt as well uh, however we are not using thyristor uh, to be very specific uh, it requires an external commutation circuit in order to turn them off so it increases the complexity of the circuit and that's why we are not doing that so once that is done uh, we will be requiring a transformer so search for transformer and uh, we'll be choosing linear transformer according to our circuit so uh, that is available uh, scroll it down and choose linear transformer uh, once this is also added uh, we'll be requiring a diode so later on we can have multiple diodes according to our circuit first place we'll only be adding one diode over here so choose the ones that are there in black as I already told and we'll be requiring a series RLC branch based on our uh, circuit so later on we can change this to R L or C depending upon our requirement with respect to the circuit so uh, we will be uh, connecting it to the scope the output voltage that is measured so scope gives you how the waveform looks like at the output terminals so we'll be adding scope as well uh, apart from that uh, now we'll start off with the closed loop uh, operation like what are the components that we need for the closed loop part so at the first place we will be requiring a constant block which is used uh, to input the reference values so uh, search for constant it will be available right at the top over here so once this is added uh, we will be requiring uh, um, a controller uh, which is basically a PA controller that is used PAD controller in s domain so search for controller and you will be getting it uh, right at the top over here so add that block as well so once pid controller is added so we need a relational operator so search for relational operator and you will be uh, getting it over here and uh, we also require uh, abs which is used to give the absolute value of a particular signal from the output terminals uh, so we'll be adding that block and uh, we'll be using a repeating sequence so uh, this is used in comparison with respect to the absolute value that is obtained and uh, we also need a difference block uh, or a subtract block so search for sum and uh, you will be getting uh, the difference block over here so add subtract block once this is added uh, we'll be uh, placing the components in appropriate position so that we can get started with the circuit so i placed them in uh, convenient positions to, so that we can connect it according to our circuit first step uh, we will be uh, providing the supply voltage which is basically 170 volt double click on the linear transformer and uh, select it to be in per unit itself so the nominal power that we will be choosing it for is 100 watts so enter that uh, so once this is done the frequency is chosen to be equal to 50 and uh, over here we need to change uh, the parameters so we will be uh, having a supply voltage of about 170 volt and the remaining so we have to use uh, this braces uh, so be very careful with that and uh, the remaining parameters with respect to the primary winding that is resistance and inductance is chosen to be equal to zero uh, the reason is we don't want additional drops across them so secondary voltage is chosen to be equal to 5 volt and uh, disable three winding transformer um, and uh, once this is done ensure that the magnetization resistance and inductance is uh, approximately 500 and not, nothing more than that so be very careful with respect to that value if these are very high consequently it 
increases uh, the losses in the circuit and you will not get the exact value of the output so once this is done i'll be connecting it according to our circuit diagram it is given in this particular fashion and uh, i'll be uh, copy pasting another diode so control c control v and it should be connected in this particular position so we have to disable the measurement port for the switches that we are using so double click on it and disable that uh, so even if you don't disable that's not going to be a problem but it's always a good habit to have the terminals that we want to connect it for so once this is done um, i guess this is not okay this is disabled now and uh, the diode should be connected in this particular direction and uh, i'll be connecting it here we use an inductor at this position so uh, choose the value of inductor according to be uh, our design as 5.39 micro entry so enter 5.39 over here so and into 10 power 6 minus 6 so once this is done click on ok and we will be uh, using a capacitor as well uh, at the load so rotate this in this particular direction choose the value of capacitance to be equal to 400 microfarad according to our design and uh, once that is entered click on ok connect it according to our circuit in this particular fashion over here so be very careful while connecting this at times when it throws the symbol so we have to place it accordingly and uh, once this is done uh, i'll be connecting a resistive load and uh, copy paste the capacitance later we'll be converting it to a resistor by double clicking on it and uh, we'll change its value to be equal to 400 ohms so once all of these are done uh, i'll be connecting it uh, between these two points and uh, I'll be taking the tapping from the load and uh, to measure the voltage across the two terminals that is basically uh, with respect to the resistor and once the voltage is obtained I'll be giving it to the scope so now we'll be entering uh, the value of uh, the reference voltage that we want at the output so whatever output voltage we want that is 5 volt in this case so enter that value here and connect it to the positive terminal of the supply negative will give it to the output terminals and it is in turn given to the PID controller double click on the PID controller and uh, we will be changing its value to be equal to 7 so uh, we'll only be using an integral controller this is totally based on your requirements if you want to improve uh, all the parameters with respect to like the steady state error um, and another two parameters with respect to the PID controller then you can choose a value of P and D as well but in this case I don't want them so that's the reason why I only used an integral controller so once this is done I will be connecting this in this particular fashion repeating sequence the frequency is uh, to be chosen so it should be given in terms of time period so 1 divided by uh, if I choose uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, output values with respect to 1 so enter that and click on OK and uh, in turn this will be given to the gate terminals of the switch MOSFET that is used so this is how we'll be connecting it now uh, let us reduce the simulation time to say equal to 0.5 seconds and check how the output is so we are supposed to get 5 volts so click on run so this will give you an idea of what what is the voltage that we are supposed to get so we are sub approximately uh, we have to get a 5 volt at the output terminal so let's check it by double clicking on the score all right so you are closely getting it to be equal to 5 volt but not exact so it's uh, around 4.3 4.4 volts at this point so you're not getting exactly 5 volt uh, this is due to the drops across uh, the transformer magnetization inductance and resistances so that plays a part as well so now how do we justify this is operating in closed loop mode so be very careful in order to understand this concept now let us say I'm increasing the supply voltage to 200 volt consequently what will happen in open loop the voltage also will increase at the load terminals isn't it so uh, but in case of closed loop operation the voltage should remain constant irrespective of the changes in the input terminals so that that way we will justify that it is closed loop mode and it is much more advantageous compared to the open loop mode of operation so double clicking at this point and if you carefully observe there are some ripples but it is approximately equal to 5 volt so this clearly gives you an indication of the voltage that we are supposed to get and we are closely getting this is how we will be justifying that the circuit is under closed loop mode of operation i hope uh, this video gives you a clear understanding of how to simulate a forward converter in matlab in closed loop mode in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions into the comment section below or you can reach out to me by uh, electronicsmaddy at gmail.com to my mail address so uh, if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates Thanks for watching this video.